We know a lot about the universe around us. We actually know that it was born over 13 billion years ago. We know a lot about the history and how we got from there all the way to the universe that we observe today. Uh, however, there are still many things that we don't know and one of them or one of the biggest mysteries we have in physics today is dark matter. Dark matter is, uh, well as the words say, is uh, something that we know is there, that it has mass. We, call, we also call it dark because we cannot see it. We, we know it's there because it has mass and the fact that it has mass it means that it affects, it has uh, gravitation. So it affects by gravity the mass around it. And we see this effect at very different scales. It originally was seen by looking at the motion of galaxies in clusters of galaxies. Uh, clusters of galaxies are very huge, the biggest bound system we have in the universe. And uh, there, there are galaxies in there, and by the way the galaxies move, uh, we know that there is a lot more matter in this system that we can actually observe. We also know that if you look at the motion of the stars in a galaxy like our own, the speed at which they move cannot be explained if the only matter that is in the galaxy is the one that we can actually see. So to explain the observation of the velocity of the stars that we can actually measure, uh, we need to add a lot more matter into the galaxy that we cannot see. So that in what we know today about dark matter, it knows that it is there, it is in our universe, it's there at the level of the galaxy, it's uh, running across now through us and around us as we speak. Uh, we know that it, it's there at much larger scales, but we don't know what it is made of. Uh, we know that uh, it uh, talks to us, meaning us is the matter that we know of, uh, in terms of gravitation but we don't know what it is and we don't know what it is made of. Um, because of what we know about physics, we believe that dark matter is made out of particles and uh, we are searching for these particles. None of the particles that we know is a good candidate to make the dark matter, so we have uh, to um, look for a new a family or a new particle at least that will explain the dark matter. So we basically have to invoke uh, what we call new physics, uh, something that is beyond what we know. And uh, there are many experiments that exist today and some that have been planned for the future that are looking for new particles. And not only they're looking for new particles, but they're looking for new particles that have the right properties uh, to explain the observations. So the short answer is that we know dark matter is there, but we don't know what it is. We know that dark matter exists because of its effect, the gravitational effect on ordinary matter, but we, we haven't uh, yet observed directly uh, dark matter. So there are several strategies, essentially three strategies to detect dark matter. One is direct detection. You put some, some piece of ordinary matter for instance, uh, underground, and you expect that some particle of dark matter coming from outside hits some ordinary atom, for instance, and you then you detect it. This is direct detection. Another one, another strategy is in the indirect detection. You expect that dark matter in the space, collisions of particles and antiparticles of dark matter produce ordinary particles, for instance, photons or neutrinos, and you detect them uh, here on the Earth. But there is still one third strategy, which is to produce directly dark matter in uh, the Earth, artificially. And the best way to do that is to produce a collision, for instance, of proton and a proton of high energy and expect that in some of those collisions you produce pairs of particles and antiparticles of dark matter. And this is exactly one of the main uh, goals of the Large Hadron Collider in, in Geneva. Uh, there, there are a lot, a lot of uh, collisions of proton-proton at very high energies, hundreds of millions of collisions uh, per second, and you are looking, or people are looking for, if some of those collisions, you produce something new, which will be dark matter. Of course, if you produce dark matter, since dark matter is very difficult to detect, you will see nothing. So the way to do that is you, you expect some collisions of proton and proton produce dark matter and something else for instance, a jet or another particle. 
and then studying those uh, kind of events you can put so far only bounds on the existence of that matter and on the properties of that matter. So this is uh, one of the main uh, research lines uh, of the LSC and still we are expecting that maybe at any moment uh, we have some positive uh, result in that sense.